Admiral's log, stardate 7493.5. Dr. McCoy, Mr. Spock, and I are en route to the colony world, Caliber 7, where the Doctor is to be honored for his recent efforts in curing the Arpalian viral pox, which had been ravaging the system for months. The Enterprise is continuing on to Starbase 37 for a resupply stop and will rendezvous with us on Calibus in five days. I've long heard that Calibus was a beautiful world, a virtual paradise. I look forward to seeing it for myself. If only everyone aboard were excited about the visit. I'm telling you, Jim, this is a waste of everybody's time. I don't need any damn metal for doing my job. Besides, I only just got back to Starfleet, and not of my own free will, I might remind you. Your work with the Frontier Medics program was no less important, Bones. You saved a lot of lives, and they just want to say thanks. Relax, and enjoy the scenery for a change. How are we coming, Mr. Spark? Estimated time of arrival to Caliber 75 minutes later. Enjoy the scenery, he says. Last time I enjoyed the scenery, I wound up with a medieval lance in my chest. All right, I grant you, she's a beautiful planet. That's the spirit, Bones. You may just enjoy yourself yet. Curious, Admiral. We are receiving no landing beacon from the colonists. Indeed, all attempts at communication continue to go unanswered. Nothing at all. Negative. I don't like the sound of that. Take us down closest to the largest settlement, Mr. Spock. Whatever passes for a town square around these parts. Gee, I'm enjoying myself already. Still no attempts at communication from the colonists, Admiral. Not exactly the lavish welcome we were told to expect for you, Doctor. Gentlemen, I believe sidearms are now in order until we find out what's going on. Looks like nobody's home. Curiouser and curiouser. This is damn peculiar. Padilla, you head that way. Barnes, move to the east. Emi, you head up front with the doctor. Keep your eyes peeled, but don't venture too far off. Aye, sir. Speculation, Mr. Spock. At this point, Admiral, I have insufficient data to make any sort of informed supposition. How many colonists here last survey? 374. When was the last time we heard from colony administration? Last transmission received at the Enterprise approximately 14 hours ago. Whatever happened here? It was fast. Doctor! I found someone! Over here, Doctor! Not getting a pulse. Lungs appear to be shut down. He's dead, Jim. What the devil? Oh! Faces on stump. Barnes. Fire. It's still coming. Keep firing, Barnes. Isa. Spot. Nothing, Admiral. No effect. Pull back. Let's give him some space. Uh, Jim? We have company. We have company. Admiral? This way. What the hell are those things? They look like... Yeah, you're not gonna like this. Look at their clothes. I think these poor wretches are our welcoming party. Jim! I see it. Admiral! 
Set phases to full power! These are the columns, Lieutenant. I'm not prepared to kill them. We don't know yet what's happened to them. I'm hoping the Doctor can figure something out. Do what you must to fend them off. But non-lethal force for now. It's too bad phase of start doesn't work. Understood, sir. Let's grab some makeshift weapons here while we can. Admiral. The administrative center of the colony is down this avenue. Let's see if we can find some answers there. We should press onward. The colonists are approaching. Don't lag behind, Padilla. Keep up! Padilla? Padilla? Padilla, no! Doing to him off me! Get me! Get him off me! I am trying all of a sudden. He's as strong as an ox! Let's go! Move! Jen, I think I understand now. It's like a virus. Quick! Duck in here! Let me take a look at that, sir. What happened? Out of nowhere, he was just all over me! There it is. I've never seen anything like it. Whatever was transmitted from Padilla's bite is coursing through your system with unprecedented speed and aggression. You mean it's going to happen to me too? You, you got to do something. I don't want to die. Bones, isn't there anything? Damn it, Jim. I don't even know what we're dealing with yet. It's starting. I don't understand. Is it taking longer to affect Barnes? Oh, me. I don't know. We didn't even see Padilla change. Maybe Barnes has a stronger immune system. Maybe he's fighting it in a way Padilla didn't. What do you want me to tell you, Jim? I don't have any answers. <coughs> Dear God. We'd better get out of here. We don't know how long he'll be down. After all, Padilla managed to make his change on the moon. They don't seem to have fought. They may lack the intellectual capacity to retain interest in the pursuit. Suggestions, Mr. Smith. Our best chance at information remains at the Administration Center, Admiral. Look out! Doing my job, Doctor. Now get going before I change. Go! Tent. Spock, Bones, look. It's Padilla and Bar. Are they heading back to the Conrad? You don't think they're capable of operating the shuttle, do you? From what we have seen of the affected colonists, they appear to be functioning on some sort of instinct alone. And the years of training required to be a Starfleet officer can certainly be said to elicit instinctive reactions. They're initiating the shuttle access and launch sequences remotely. Quick, override! Already trying. Too late. They've managed to lock us out somehow. We can't let them take off, Jim. They'll spread this to the Enterprise and beyond. I know. Scotty, you won't receive this subspace message for a day or so. We're in trouble here. We need you to get back here fast. We don't have much time. Scotty, if the Conrad approaches the Enterprise's landing bay, and you do not hear from me, Mr. Spock or Dr. McCoy, I am giving you a direct order to destroy it. Do not allow the Conrad back aboard the Enterprise under any circumstances. When the Enterprise gets here, 
If you're unable to contact us, do not send down a search party. In absence of word from us, I'm ordering you to issue General Order 7 on my authority and inform Starfleet Command immediately. Admiral, we must act now. Scotty, we're going to try and hold out until you get here. Push the engines to the limit. We're counting on you. Kirk out. Phasers, on full. Fire. The destruction of the shuttle caused some disarray, but the deceased colonists are starting to bear down on us again. We need to be on the move. I think our best bet is still the administration center. The colonists may have left behind some data on what happened to them. Agreed. Whatever happened, happened fast. I don't see much of anything here that helps me figure out what this disease is. I've Never seen anything quite like it. I have transferred essential data from the colony's memory core onto my tricorder. Do not think it is safe for us to stay here for very long. Admiral, most of the colony is inactive, as one would expect from the situation we are witnessing. I am, however, seeing a power spike at a facility five kilometers away. There's activity there unlike any place else. Who feels like a nature hike? Getting to the facility requires getting out of this settlement and crossing the countryside. I am seeing movement behind us in all directions, Admiral. We are definitely being pursued. Eyes open. Both of you. Looks like the disease is not limited to humans. Look out! Run for it! That must be it! It is locked. I suggest you unlock it, Mr. Spock. Uh-oh. Face is out, Doctor. Set for maximum power. These are its eyes, Jim. You, you can't expect me to. I know what they are, Bones. I know. <laughs> 